girl be love and I'm just giving some extra commentary on Lido's So Rocker Jam. In this video that I'm editing, I battle Genesis and Kara. I wanted to encourage other B-girls to keep battling. Iron sharpens iron. So if we're getting out there and we're battling, it's going to help make the other person better. And the amazing experience I had in Florida, um... I got to meet B-Girl Genesis, check out her channel on Gen Vision. Here's a little clip from Gen Vision right now. Check it out. She's uh, my sister in faith, rocking the hip-hop fashion joggers. You can see the little patch, so make sure you go to her YouTube channel and subscribe. Gen Vision, y'all. Florista. Represent. I also first time meet... Lexi from Ladies of Soul. I got to meet Amira Styles, who is a super dope B girl. Um, if you check out in the video, I got Lexi doing her foot spins because back when I was like ready to give up hope, and I didn't think any other girls were doing this, and I was like, "How can I follow you, Jesus? I want to keep following you, but I prayed to be a B girl really much. Like at every Bible study, I'd be like, "Jesus, make me a B girl." People would be like. I pray for my grandma, I pray for this, it was all good. Jesus just healed my mind of drugs and alcohol, totally free from it. Need something really exciting because I stopped going out to the bars, I was like, Jesus, make me a B-girl. And this was after B-girl being in Minnesota, so I don't really know what a B-girl was. And, um, didn't know what I was asking for, so slowly I learned it was the battling dance. And I was like the only other girl that was doing this, except like, couple other people in b-girl b there was a ton of b-girls i saw like lady champ and Rockefeller, who's god's been able to connect me with glory to god at a point i was like are there any other b-girls of the faith like that love the lord and um somehow i connected with lexi Lido, i know had the soul rockers crew for the dudes and then lexi came up to Lido and was like yo i want to do this like what you do for the girls and um somehow i found them on my computer nerd internet keyboard search and um found there was like a christian girls dance crew in florida so i hit them up and lexi was giving me skype lessons so like i actually have honest lexi doing her head spins um which is amazing so yeah they've they've been taking a little break this ladies of soul but i got to kick it with amira a lot and like that was just so special to meet these girls that had like outreach to me um to really confirm that like jesus loves b-girling jesus has me on this path for a reason when i let it go he brought it back in multiple ways also shout out to mahogany jones and the female christian MCs holding it down in detroit she invited me to the first b-girl battle i ever went to in detroit diamonds in the rough so it continues so this time i got to meet b-girl genesis which is like a super dope b-girl she was like she won the battle um and i got to meet the floristas a shout out to the floristas what they're doing um the other organizer, the Temple Rock Jam. Um, I gotta kick it with her. She's adorable. And she battles, too, in the Floristas. And it's just such a dope crew um, of people. And they do the Be Still Nights. These are our new hip-hop gear. So I want to find a way to have part of the proceeds go to sponsor um, and get some hip-hop gear for them. So, yeah, if you support the movement, grab a jacket. You're supporting um, the Be Still movement. So, yeah, if you want to be a part of it, too, help support hip-hop fashion. Um, get some stuff and put it into the kingdom. Um, let it remind you of God here on earth. Um, praying open heaven for you and enemies bound up in your life. And you can just praise the Lord through song and dance and all that good stuff. Okay, we're going to get Ada Rodriguez up in here with the the fashion patches so um check them out at battles back to the jam and i just want to shout out all the b-boys were supporting the ladies run event at be still that's amazing the only other place i've seen that you know, rockefeller all the ladies say when guys show up to that miguel helping out with windy city wednesday and moy and all the have coral break free guys helping out with b-girl city otherwise i just don't see it and i've traveled all over the nation breaking so machismo I feel safe and welcome at the event when the guys are supporting. Mad love to these brothers. Like Lido. Juan Lido's a Christian and he's like representing in the scene and he's praying on the mic. He's being an example. Like he's 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 a part of the culture so he sees how God is moving in the culture. It says be in the world and not of it. It says be a light in the darkness and hip hop is that for so many people before they ultimately find Jesus and Jesus is like 
just everything. Um, he created hip hop. He's the creator of all things. So like, just to see, uh, you know, Lido represented like that, and he makes that that platform for the B girls, and it's just normal. He really put Lexi on, Ladies of Soul, and that's the first time I got in touch with the soul culture movement. Um, and then to come down and meet Elba, and like, I didn't even meet Elba at doing a Bible study. I did not know she was a Christian. I was like whoa, this girl has good vibes. Oh, snap. Because, like, I saw her, and I was like, ooh, another girl in the cypher. She has confidence. You know, the Lord is the lifter of our heads, but I just felt her having this love, joy, peace, like the fruit of the Spirit. But, again, sometimes that stuff moves through non-Christians, too, and sometimes Christians be stopping it up. Basically, I just felt a lot of love from this girl. We were just encouraging each other in the cypher, like, oh, you go, oh, dope, bro. I love that energy. Like a really good dancer, and she's just starting, like, breaking. It takes a little bit to smooth out the details. Um, it's a difficult dance. She's, like, tearing it up, getting out there. It's so fun to vibe with her. Then I was at Panda's birthday party, yeah. and they start praying, and I almost started crying because got the worst spiritual attack pray for me guys please pray for me i'm looking at joining ywam so i don't even know what's gonna happen next with hip hop. but there's big new good things corporate mission trips connecting with ywam we're in new mexico and we're praising the lord with dance like worshipers prayers evangelists and we all happen to love dance so anyways i love what's going down in florida i love it from all my heart felt so much joy and peace yeah panda's birthday they start praying after my car accident that's why i said pray for me little funny trail i just started crying because i was like i can't believe how much like the main people in the culture are giving the glory to god for this and jesus christ oh, it's so beautiful and just everybody i met was so loving like just i gotta kick it with lynn and Vinny and kara and theod and Lido and, and static and everybody awesome crowd i don't know how else to say my Love and appreciation and thanks and hope to be back down there soon. I'm actually praying if I can get back down there now before I go on the Mexico trip to YWAM. Which if anybody wants more information on the dance ministry in YWAM, it's like a worldwide ministry. Um, we're preaching the gospel and we need dope dancers. So hit me up if you want more information. Be loved, be blessed, and check out Hip Hope Fashion. If you, It's free shipping on orders over $99. So just hit me up. Um, this is one of the new jackets, uh, and it's got a pants set, too, and um, super fresh. So anyways, watch out for that um, and be a part of the movement that God is doing. That's what, you know, I'm doing. If you, you know, want to donate uh, anything towards the missions trip, I'm raising funds. Um, if you want to represent a jacket and just should be a part of the uh, of the what God is doing in that way, um, please do. I definitely see ministry through fashion. I've been able to connect with a lot of amazing B-girls through, like, the hip-hop fashion stuff. So, uh, yeah, anyways, you are beloved. That's why I call myself B-love. I remember he loves me, so I don't punch people. I just battle with the love of the Lord. And, um, and yeah, and also reminding everybody you know, I pray that in advance that my dance is something that, like, breaks chains off of people that, um, that people that, you know, hear, like, anything about what I'm doing with dance, like, they know that they are loved by God, um, which is different than anything of the world. It doesn't look like lust. It doesn't look like, you know, any type of, you know, manipulation. It's, like, just a pure-hearted, like, just almost, like, secretive loving force that's, like, more powerful than anything working on your behalf. Blessings and love, joy, peace, happiness, and all that good stuff. And yeah, this is the little paint I have for um, helping my dude out at Gym Struction over by uh, Maple Grove. He's got like a huge, awesome gym and he helps dancers incorporate flips and stuff. So go check him out if you're in Minnesota. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> This is B Love in Orlando, Florida, and here's some of the best students ever. Pause. Left, left, center. Pause. Leap and sweep and wrap and slide. Woo! And switch and around. Nice. And wrap and wrap and slide. Woo! And up and around. Two handstands, boom. One, two, three. Shorty break faces. Woo! Hey, this is B Girl B Love, 
in the home hip hop layer and just some commentary. Uh, I got to battle Kara in Florida and uh, she's my favorite up and coming B girl right now. She's so dope and I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, battling other women. Um, I really do believe like when Kara's like, what if we battle each other? Because there's only like eight to ten girls entering. Um, I was like, well then, one of us wins. Because um, I love getting out there. I love encouraging the girls to get out there. Then I ended up battling Genesis. And Genesis was like coaching me and mentoring me on battle tactics. Now, of course, Genesis put in a lot of time. She won that round. She did her best and I did my best. I'm so thankful. And same with Kara. She just started battling and she did awesome. Like Genesis was helping me with that battle. She's like, you know, it's close. You better bust out your backflip or some power because Kara is just so dope and up and coming. So you can ask the judges. Honey Rockwell told me do your flips and do some variations on it. And she's super nice and approachable. So I really think that if we battle, like, I had to pray about it because I used to fight in high school. I don't want to be a fighter. But you know what? Iron sharpens iron. And if we get out there and battle, we're holding a spot for the women in this culture to be something besides sexual objects. We're actually participating and we're expressing our joy to God, our worship form. Um, and it's like a spiritual warfare. Like, it says in the word so much, the word uh, dance is associated with joy. It's associated with praising the Lord. And so when we do that and we dedicate our hearts to God when we're out there, we're going to do nothing but make our opponent that much stronger, that much faster, that much better at their signal communication with the Lord. And I just encourage more girls to get out and battle like Kara is doing. And she's just going to get better and better. She's reflecting with me after that battle like, oh... I got up and I was disoriented. I didn't look at the judge or whatever. Now, guess what? She's got that in her pocket and she can use that whenever she wants in the next battle and battles to come. So I always learn something in the battle. Like for me in that battle, I learned what well, with Genesis because that's where I got out. It was like I was doing the same power moves. Like I repeated windmills and head spins because I've been practicing windmills and head spins. But I need to practice some more sets and I need to have power variation because if I want to get the final round, the top two, I need to have different moves every time. And if you're in a big battle like Rebel BC1, you need to have like 16 different sets. So I only had to have like, what, four different sets in that battle? And it was the struggle. So anyways, those are just some little tips and I just want to encourage all the girls to get out there and battle. They're not going to hold B-girl battles if we don't get out there and battle. And that was the other thing. I've, you know, one time I um, got Katrina was emceeing. I encouraged her to battle. Check out the battle in, I had with her in Oklahoma where we both were in the final rounds. You know, there wasn't that many B-girls battling, so I said, yo, Katrina, you should battle. It's funny because Hip Hop had sponsored the prize, so we had the gear for the winner. And if I would have won that, I would have got my own gear. Why? Because there's so few females, the ones in it are doing two or three things at the battle. So, of course, I'm vending Hip Hop fashion. And I did graffiti, too. I did a graffiti mural outside. And then Katrina's emceeing and organizing this event, and I got her into battle. But guess what? It was a better battle. I'm so thankful. Like, it brought the best out of me, battling her. And I know Katrina, so it was like, I really loved seeing, like, what came out of both of us in that battle. It was really awesome and really a blessing. And she's a treasure. She's my treasure for that battle. Jesus loves all of us. And once I realized that, I'm like, I'm going to help make the other person better. And if I'm pulling out the sword and stabbing somebody with it, guess what? It's not them. And I just stabbed the devil. That's the spiritual sword, the word of God. And I pray in advance. So it's nothing violent. It's coming out of, you know, my heart to God and me wanting to see the best. And you see that homie sister handshake at the end. That's what it's about. I'm thanking that person for helping me do my best. I have a little be love commentary. Um, glory to God. And bless all you guys that are getting out there to battle and continuing to battle stay in the game we need the people that are extremely good to push us to the hires and we need those new and up-and-coming people to just show us that you know what look at that face step look at look at how good it is to take that face step um and bring glory to god with this dance form so peace thank you guys for